Hey guys, in this video I wanted to share the most important career and business lessons I learned in my 20s as a software engineer and I'm gonna cover the following areas. How to get promoted at work and how to make money. My name is Marco and I've been a software engineer for 10 years now. I worked for startups and multi-billion dollar companies. I've been a freelancer and I even had my own business. And this week I'm turning 30. So today I'm taking it easy and doing some coding on a rainy day here in Oslo but as I'm working I will tell you about the lessons I learned so let's get started with the first one. A dirty little secret in the workplace is that most promotions are not given. They are negotiated. So tell your managers where you would like to be in 6 months from now and keep them accountable to helping you achieve your goal. You can always say something like, in 6 months I want to do this, I understand that I can't get that position today, but can you give me some action items and some accomplishments that I need to achieve so that 6 months from now I can make a good case for that. It's super important to keep track of your achievements at work. That way, when you're having a performance review or talking to someone about your potential growth, you have arguments to back up whatever you're asking for. Most people forget what they did last month, let alone what you did last month. So keep that in mind. Make sure to always know what are the three great things you did this month, this quarter and this year off the top of your head and talk about them. Mention them on one-on-ones, remind people about it. Not in an annoying way, but bring it up when it's appropriate. The worst thing you can do in your career is say nothing and ask for nothing. But most people do exactly that. A lot of time it's about walking that fine line of knowing when is the right time to ask for something or when is the right time to complain about something. Try different things and see what works. Everyone is different. It's your 20s. Most people will give you a pass for almost anything. It takes a long time to master and long term it's more important for your career than coding or any other ability. Research shows that the vast majority of people get a raise only when switching companies. This is just sad, but it's also the truth. Because most companies don't care about compensating their own people well. Make sure to put in the good work, but keep asking for a promotion or a raise. And if you're getting responses like, well, you're doing everything right and we are very happy with your performance, but now is not the right moment, look for other companies. They are stalling you and if it happens more than once, it's a huge red flag. I wish I had known this earlier when I was getting started, I would probably have made more money by now. Keep practicing the interview questions, be sharp and look for opportunities with higher pay or a better position than what you have now. Don't go into autopilot. And hey, if you're enjoying this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, it helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. Ignore the naysayers, the negative people, the pessimists. They never shut up, but that doesn't mean they are right. For example, when I was starting this YouTube channel, every friend at work and at home was like, YouTube is saturated, you will never make it. Why should I watch your small channel when there is a thousand other bigger channels? I remember a year ago, an engineering manager at my company was laughing about all of this. And now when I speak to people at work, almost all of them ask me, so Marco, how much do you make on this YouTube thing? So if you have an idea, go for it even when I had only 10 subscribers and maybe a week goes by and I have 15 that was 50% weekly growth A very painful lesson I learned as a software engineer is this. Insist on getting paid now for the work you're doing now. It sounds obvious, but let me tell you a personal story. Some time ago, I used to work for a startup and some of my compensation was in stock options of the company, but at the expense of my salary. I thought I was getting a great deal that I would get rich one day. And look, the company even got acquired, but things didn't go as I hoped. Acquisition deals are complicated and the payment was delayed for several years. Back in the day, when I was just trying to find my financial stability, getting that payment would have been super clutch. It would have jump-started my career and life in a big way in my mid-twenties. But now that it was delayed, first of all, because of inflation, it's not the same kind of money. And second of all, I was forced to work hard in the meantime and I had to compensate for my lower salary that I had at first. And when I finally got the money from that acquisition, it no longer makes a big difference for me. I wish I had it sooner when I was younger and I really needed it. 
and I wish I never compensated my salary for stock options. You never know how things are going to turn out. We live in a crazy world. If you're putting in hard work today, ask to be paid today in today's money. Any promises of stock options or any kind of delayed compensation should only be a bonus on top of your fair market pay. let's talk about what products to build, how to find customers and how to sell those products. And I will give you personal examples of this. One lesson I learned the hard way is selling products that are in the direct line of work of the buyer is extremely difficult. For example, selling a house to a real estate agent and making a profit is almost impossible. And this is because it's a matter of personal pride for any professional to examine and inspect a product in as much detail as humanly possible if that's what they do for a living. Even if your product is perfect, the expert will try to find at least a few flaws because they feel like it's expected of them and it's just gonna take you so much energy and time to deal with that. Here are examples from my own personal experience. I tried building a UI design tool that generates React code. It was incredibly hard for me to impress React developers because no matter how hard I tried, they also tried as much as possible to find at least one edge case where my tool wouldn't work. It was just making them feel good to do so. On the other hand, and I also built a window manager and developers, designers, product managers and thousands of other people love it. Why? Because not one of them manages windows for a living. They all do something else, so it's enough to demonstrate that my window manager works reasonably well and people love it. Try to sell products that are not in the direct line of work of the buyer. For example, sell a fitness app to a developer or a time tracker to a real estate agent. One of the major mistakes I made while I was scrambling to make up for the lost opportunity with that compensation in company stock is that I briefly ran a software consulting agency. I'll tell you right away that everyone in this company made money except me. I worked super hard to make the clients happy, the employees happy, and I personally got nothing from it. Consultancies are very difficult to run because you have no product. Your only asset is people and people are difficult to work with. They have needs and wants and if you want to do good by your own people, you will pay them well, and then you will make no money. One day I asked myself, is there something that I fundamentally believe that I cannot do? And being a YouTuber was one obvious answer, because I was your typical introverted engineer with no charisma, no experience, no prior following on any other social media. But then something crossed my mind. Yes, it's true that there is no supporting evidence that I can do it, but there is also no hard evidence that I can't. And that's when I decided to challenge myself and do something I believed that I'm not capable of doing. Okay, so that's a wrap. What what are some of the lessons you learned? I would love to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, please write a comment and I'll see you in the next video.